Would you buy a car from a guy in a suit? Now I've got my car salesman suit on, it's time to look at selling the FJ40. That's right, we're gonna sell it. G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. So we're gonna give this girl a really good clean up using a whole stack of really cool products, give it a really good wash and make it look absolutely Mickey Mouse. And the reason for that is we're gonna sell the old girl. Whoo! I know this is a very unique opportunity for anyone out there to be able to buy this that's been able to see the entire build on YouTube. Every single nut and bolt rubber, seal, everything we've done to this, you guys have seen. And uh, that's an incredibly unique opportunity to be able to buy a vehicle that you've been able to see from day one. And it's been an absolute awesome build, a lot of fun, but now it's time to clean it up, put it out there and see if anyone else is keen to buy this thing so that we can move on with our next project. Because at the moment, we can't keep buying them and moving forward without selling, so. And by the way, this was not my wife's idea. She did not want to sell the Cruiser. But anyway, let's get straight in. Let's give this thing a really good clean up and uh, we'll see what we can do as far as the sales pitch, eh? R22, which is environmentally friendly, degrees up, brakes right down, fantastic stuff. A quick spray over a bit of the wheels and uh, we're gonna give it a quick hose down and soak this thing and make it all happen. Right, our next we're going to give this interior a really good clean. Now, the best thing I've found for this stuff is the R22. Give it a spray, give it a wipe, it comes straight off, nice and easy clean up. So we'll give that a crack and we'll clean all this. You can see it all sort of a bit dirty in here. We'll give that a really good clean up. Right, let's chuck some tire shine on. Now this stuff not only just uh, shines the tire up, but it actually rejuvenates the rubber. So it's pretty cool. You can put it on your rubber seals and all that type of stuff as well. Hey guys, we're selling cars today. This car, one of a kind, very rare. It has wheels. <laughs> they are crucial when driving. Mirrors, you want to see those blind spots? Get this car and you'll see them. Doors that open, pure leather. I skinned this from a cow myself. More wheels, more wheels. We come around here, more doors. Space in the back. So all your friends can come along, but not legally. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, quick, come get in. Yeah. Show everyone. Go, one, oh. Oh, two, yeah. three. Oh, I'm going to be able to fold in. Look at that, all your mates. <laughs> one, two, three. Andy, get in. Should yeah. Should oh, I can get in. in. Yeah. Oh. Look at that, the whole family. <laughs> Charlie, no way, you're not getting that dress. We don't even have the three people in the front yet. <laughs> <laughs> and the people actually come with the car, so. Oh. <laughs> what else do we? <laughs> G'day. So, we've spoken about it. The FJ40 1977 build is up for sale. Now it's up for sale to fund a whole new project, but let's quickly look over what we've got here. What we've done, you can look over the entire YouTube channel and it's a rare opportunity to be able to see this being built from the ground up to what it is today. Now you don't get that opportunity when you buy a vehicle these days. Sure, there's some things that aren't quite perfect on it, but we've tried to keep this 
as original as possible. Now it has been on the road and been driven around and used for the last two and a half years. So it does have some little tiny little stone chips, um, little bits and pieces, but overall it's in pretty much the same condition that it was the day it was built. As you guys know, from the ground up, every single rubber seal, every single bearing, every single joint, bushes, shackles, new suspension, all from the ground up has been done. This one here has disc brakes on the front. It has a 60 series rear end handbrake setup, 60 series 2H and four speed motor. So to try to keep it genuine looking, we've gone back with the split rims. These have all been sandblasted and powder coated to the pretty much the closest the color we could get, which is a pewter gray. All the freewheeling worn hubs have been completely stripped down, rebuilt. We've got power steering. This is a very unique power steering setup on this particular cruiser. So way back before 60 series Land Cruisers even existed, this had one of the first ever setups that were adapted from a Toyota Crown and it fits straight on the front bar. There's no huge modification in this power steering setup. The geometry is perfect, comes straight up to your steering wheel and it actually makes it a dream to drive. So you don't have to hack into your guards or anything like that. There is a small little cut out on the front bib. No major issue if you want to fix that up or remove it later. We've got genuine front bar, genuine number plate holders all on the front. We've gone and replaced all our clips and all our springs, all new rubbers through the entire vehicle, including all the window rubbers. New front window, because we broke it when we're trying to put it in. Genuine front rubber here for holding up the bonnet. Fiberglass roof as per normal, but this one has got a sunroof. So from the rear, same deal. Everything has been totally stripped down and restored. So all new steel around the back quarters here, all new genuine badges, genuine lights, all genuine number plate holder. The rear wheel carrier has all been stripped down and rebuilt. Our bumpets, again, all been uh, panel beater back out, put back on. Now some other little extra features, mud flaps, they're really cool. They didn't come out with Toyota, but it just really sets this vehicle off. Inside, let's start from the rear. Underneath the tub has been completely wrapped aligned to give it that extra protection against any stones and off-road and all that type of stuff. Not that I've taken this off-road, I'm a little bit too precious. Now inside all the vehicle, the whole vehicle has been sound deadened with Resomat. So Resomat sound deadening has gone through the entire vehicle and then we've got all this vinyl and right to the top it's got the custom heat molded vinyl flooring that goes right through there. Now another cool feature with this FJ40 is a genuine roll bar. Again, really hard to find in Australia. It has the top pads. It doesn't have the side pads, unfortunately, but the top pads are there. All the seat belts have been stripped down, cleaned up and reinstalled. So they're the original genuine Toyota seat belts. Now let's talk about the custom interior inside. Righto, interior. This interior is all custom made from Scott's Land Cruisers. So, as you probably saw if you've been through the YouTube channel, my wife has chosen all the colouring on this, has done a sensational job. This is a caramel colour, all custom made for this FJ40. And to top it off, it's gone the extra mile. So we've got all the door cards to match with the seats. We've got the sun visor covers, which have your little pocket holders or sunglass holders. And really to tie it all in, we've got our handbrake and our low range boot all tied in with the exact same custom caramel color. So it has really set this vehicle off inside. Right now the full console, there are a few little upgrades because we've got the 2H diesel. Glow plug button, so manual push, glow plugs, We've sourced a glow plug light for a HJ47, put that in there, as well as the filter light there for your fuel separator. So that's all there, you've got your brake light. Righto, for the modern side of things here, just to give yourself a little bit of extra sound while you're cruising along, full Pioneer stereo system, Bluetooth and USB, and we've also got a full subwoofer underneath the seat here that has a full remote control system that's tucked in there as well. It's all pretty cool and it's all hidden away. We've got the special kicker 
speakers, which allow you to still be able to use your kick vents as per normal, but keep that speaker tucked out of the way instead of beautiful door cards. Your speakers are tucked, tucked away there as well. Now, there's no issues with heating in here. It is fantastic and heats up the cab absolutely perfectly. Right out of the roof. So I spoke about, we've got the sunroof in here, just to pop it up, let that heat out of here on a really hot day. And on top of that, all new roof lining, very close to the original, it looks pretty cool. Now the last little finishing touches on this thing are the sticker kits. Righto, so I think I've covered pretty much everything for this build. Righto, so as I said, this FJ40 is up for sale. So if you don't have the time to do yours up and you wanna jump straight into one that's ready to go, hit me up and uh, we can work something out. Righto guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all your support that's got us through this build to this point and I'm really looking forward to the next project.